We have a 27 year old uh, patient with uh, primary infertility related with uh, disovulation and the polycystic ovary syndrome. But her main problem now is the health status because uh, she's very embarrassing by uh, blotting, uh, by various uh, digestive troubles, inflation, by uh, bladder voiding difficulties, and all the symptoms uh, are due to a uh, deep endometriosis, very severe deep endometriosis with a uh, big lesion on the sigmoid colon, which is actually subocclusive, a second lesion on the rectum. And there are some there are some lesions on the on the diaphragm. So we have to note this that we have some lesions of the diaphragm on the diaphragm. Okay, we have an adenomyosis. In the front we have uh, an obliterated uh, cul de sac. Here we have an, an, an endometrioma 4 cm in diameter and here we'll have the sigmoid endometriosis. So let's put the over trockers. So she had several IVF procedures with failure and now she decided to have the surgery because of the bad quality of life when you in 3d it is not recommended to stay into the trocar because seeing very close and very far is embarrassing so stay always into the into the abdomen Okay. Just a moment, let me see. We have some additions here. Okay. So take care of the colon. Perfect. Very well. Let's see if we have some if we have some lesions on the ileum. Mm. I think it's very likely to have a, a lesion on the on the colon because uh, I feel here it it is it is not soft. We'll dissect and we'll see. And let me see where, and here we have the nodule of the sigmoid colon on contact with the fallopian tube. And in theory we have a second nodule here, but uh, no, actually no, we have here, here a nodule of rectovaginal nodule, but fortunately it does not involve uh, the rectum. This is a very good, good news. So let's start by dissecting, let's see if we can if you can come back with uh, our uh, trocar, no, we cannot do. Okay, so stay at this distance; it will be perfect. Huh? Eight eight centimeter, on average. Yeah, in all the patients, yes. Not not if if you put it too too high, it will uh, cross continuously with cross with. Uh, with the scope. If you put it too down, it will uh, injure the, the ut uterus. Okay, come a bit closer, please. So I think we have, a, we have an infiltration here. So probably we, we have to reject to excise the, the cecum. Let me see. We have to identify the ureter first. Come here. The ureter is here, okay? OK. 
Okay, stay like this, and I will. I will open here the peritoneum to put the ureter far. So the the ovary reserve is excellent. It's four point four point two. But we have to keep it as high as we can because the patient is planning to have IVF and as you know the ovarian reserve is crucial in the success of the IVF uh, bipolar. That's why uh, probably we will perform uh, an ablation, a plasma ablation of the of the cyst, of the endometrioma. Okay, so ureter is there. We follow we follow it far. Yeah, like this. Okay. So the ureter is far. Very well. We can open here and in this way we'll have uh, put your instrument here like this. Don't stay into the trocar. Okay, let's come back on our uh, sigmoid column. So the ureter is far. Now you have to preserve also the ovarian vessels. Let's see where they are. Here we have uh, the external iliac vessels. So the ovarian vessels should be should be here into the. It's it's clear for me that we will perform an excision of the of the cecum. We can do only excision because look, the junction, the iliocolonic junction. Le, le, let it. Oh, ah, ha, ha, ha. No, 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 no. It will be a iliocolonic resection. Should be an ideocolonic resection. Okay, it's clear now. Let's see bipolar. To see where are the ovarian vessels, not to sacrifice them. Tu peux baisser un peu la table parce que je pense qu'elle n'est pas assez basse. So here we have the yeah. external iliac vessels. Where are the ovarian vessels? They are still covered by 
Okay, I, I will cut here because anyway we'll perform a iliocolonic resection. Should be here. I think they are there. Yes, I think they are there. It looks like the ovarian vessels. Yes. And you see the appendix is blocked below the fallopian, fallopian tube. And here we have... A, ah, here I, just a moment, I take a picture. Very severe status. And here we have, this is endometriosis. I presume. Okay, well done. Come, come, you're into the trocar. Very well. So let's see. We have here. This, uh, we we could do a uh, excision of the of the cecum, but we have this lesion on the. Ilium, in a so young patient, I cannot. I cannot believe we can uh, we can uh, leave this lesion in place. So, on the right side, it is clear we have what we have to do. Very well. Now let's let's finish here the dissection on the right side. So this is endometriosis. It is too, it's too too soft. It's too soft. Let me see. Hmm? Vous avez quelque chose? Vous pouvez la donner endométriose uh, annexe. Okay. Let let me see here. So we have. We have no no major lesions on the ovary, probably here bipolar. Here probably have two small lesions. I will coagulate them because the cysts are very small. Perfect. Yeah, it's a Bissinger. Uh, uh, bipolar. Hold like this and I will finish by uh, completely dissecting the, the ureter. You see the peritoneum is very infiltrated because the dissection of the ureter is more laborious than in, than in previous patients where it was very easy to do. Here you see that the peritoneum is more adherent to the, to the ureter. No, I, 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 it may be either because she has several, she has a lot of stimulation or because uh, she has a more inflammatory disease. But I recommend the uh, appeal until, uh, until the ART and we will calculate the score, uh, EFI score, but as she has a disovulation, 
So as a disovulation, I think it is logical to to take care at the at the probability of natural conception, even though at the end the pelvis is uh, is very correct because the disovulation is not uh, included in the EFI score, so you may have a disovulation with a normal EFI score, however, the pregnancy won't come because of the disovulation. As well, the, the sperm abnormalities are not uh, included in the IVF and the EFI uh, score. So EFI is just related to the endometriosis, not to over over reasons, associated reasons. Okay, uh, donnez-moi la, la ultra I will open here. As I told you yesterday, I pull medially in order to increase as much as I can the distance with the organs I want to preserve, in this case, the ureter and the nurse. Okay, the ureter now is far. Okay, very well. So here everything is okay. Let's see where is the hypogastric nerve. It should be here. Here or there. Come, come. No, it's here. It's this one. It means it goes there like this. We'll open here and we'll see it. And thus we'll preserve it. Okay, we know it is laterally from this uh, this this section plane. Okay, very well. Now, on the right side, we are almost okay. Let's go on the left side now. On the left side, we have to release the sigmoid colon. And to this, the same, we'll, we'll start always here. So, another small endometriosis lesion. Okay, so we have to release the left colon. Come here, follow me. What is this? It's another piece of... Uh, Okay, come back now. So we'll open here. So here we have the external iliac vessels, we have the ovarian vessels, meaning just below we have here the ureter. Okay? 
from while to while <laughs> you may have double ureters but uh, it's not very frequent it happened I think four times in my experience a very dangerous situation because once you identify the ureter you have the tendency to cut and uh, if you cut over ureter you may have um, a fistula ureteral fistula and uh, it is somehow unbelievable because uh, you are sure that the ureter was preserved you had it? yeah <laughs> and I had a patient who said yeah I, I was aware after the surgery I said but what why didn't tell me because I could uh, have cut one but anyway I have to <laughs> no problem doctor <laughs> Okay, very well. Okay, so here the ureter is far. Here we have the nodule. You see, it infiltrates the sigmoid colon. I will take the harmonic scalpel and I will stay very close as on the other side, not to devascularize the the ovary uh, is incredible so you follow the ureter, you protect the ureter now let's release this it's a very 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 active endometriosis very active okay let me see here you're close to the put, put your instrument here better to and like this I, I will see I will take a contact close contact with with the colon Aspi very well we, we start seeing better don't, don't leave it, stay like this I just change my instrument in order to to help me to see better uh, not actually, I think it's here on the on the broad ligament but the patient has uh, some uh, bladder uh, voiding troubles yes yes sure so you do not need to have an actual infiltration in order to have symptoms I have here a plane I have to find it I have a, a dissection plane. It should be here. Okay. Come come back to take to take a view. So here is a huge nodule. to release here to go below and once we once we once we go below we are okay I think you can cut here because here should not be 
is just fat tissue. Yes, wonderful. Now we are in the, the good plane. We have here this nodule to remove, which is actually in the parametrium. But we are able now to pull upward. I have to cut here. We can to pull upward the, the sigmoid column and to open the space necessary to understand what's happened. Yeah. Okay, could you put your instrument here, please? Like this. And I will clean, I will clean you. Don't do anything else. Okay, so let's protect the ureter. Okay. Very well. Now we release it on the left. Okay, so you see the nodule was separated, now you see that the rectum r goes there, so it's not a problem to open here. And by opening here, we can dissect the rectum. We can separate it from, uh, increase the distance with the rectovaginal nodule we have to remove. and to prepare the <coughs> inferior limit of our, our resection, okay? So the nodule is here, there. It is as impressive as the previous one. And honestly, I did not schedule this patient just because you're here. That's why I, I told you yesterday that subocclusive endometriosis <laughs> are less rare than someone could think. Okay, now let's open the, the cyst to treat the cyst. Hello. So to open a cyst, you have not to incise here, you have just to move it and to to do the adhesiolysis on the bottom because the cyst always starts here. You see? And here to open it, you do not need to to cut the normal normal um, ovary and to injury the ovarian uh, parenchyma. Let it down, let it down. Okay, very well. 
very very inflammatory disease now I will clean with I will wash and then I will take a grasp with teeth and I will try to reverse the ovary in order to do a good ablation uh, let, let it down right now I, huh? All right. I'm looking for the opposite They might pass. I have to push the opposite wall because I want to turn it inside out. Okay, now I completely reverse it. Now I have to treat the internal, the interior inner of the cyst, which thickness is uh, so the the cyst wall is composed for from a fibrous tissue, which may they which may measure. One millimeter, one millimeter, and uh, and endometrial tissue, superficial endometrial tissue, which does not exceed 0.2 millimeter. So the idea, come come closer to wash you. So the idea of the ablation is to destroy the endometrial tissue with uh, energy, with only superficial penetration in order not to go deeper than the fibrous tissue and to preserve the underlying ovarian parenchyma. So you can do this with laser and with plasma. I started using plasma jet in 2009 and I'm very satisfied by the clinical results with a uh, high rate of pregnancies after uh, the treatment of uh, endometrioma with plasma. Now, after the surgery, if you check the ovarian reserve by AMH, you will always find that the, the results are lower than preoperatively because I think the, the inflammation, postoperative inflammation, plays a role. We discussed it at uh, the, uh, the A. Uh, European Endometriosis Congress this this point so if you perform the assessment of the AMH before the surgery and I think you should do uh, do not do it too early after the surgery because the patient will be scared by a significant decrease of the AMH level however if you do it later six months later you will see that the, the value increases By recurrence rate uh, after plasma, uh, I estimated if the patients do not take a contraceptive pill, which happens only in patients who intend to get pregnant, two years after the procedure, the recurrence rate is about 40%. It means that it is a bit higher than uh, with the cystectomy, which is about 30%. But I think the plasma, you can do it two times without harm on the on the ovary while if you perform a cystectomy two times I think uh, I think the results are not good at all as it has been shown by several colleagues I am always set up by by 
results communicated by several colleagues said no the mh does not decrease it's not what i observed in my in my practice and they are not actually do differently than i'm doing the cystectomy so uh, Here probably we could do a cystectomy because the ovarian reserve is high and she has uh, and she has numerous uh, follicles, but uh, but I decided to preserve as much as I can, so uh, I I do the plasma. Okay, very well. Now. Please hold it, but very, very gently, because it's an ovary. And I will continue to dissect here. So I have a look on the ureter, which is there. But I have to separate, because here I have to separate this nodule from, from the rest, because it's a, it's a big nodule going until there. So I always pull medially in order to stay far from the ureter which is there. No, I think I have to do differently. I have to start here with the excision. But here we were actually in the parametrium. So we may encounter some vessels. So it's okay here. So let's do it very, very, very carefully. I think it's better if you hold this and I will hold the ovary. Hold and pull it very, very strong. Now here the hypogastric nerve is obviously inside, so it will be cut. Because we cannot do differently. come here <coughs> so here we are in the healthy tissue Okay, now, we have here the ureter, bipolar.
So I push the ureter mi laterally. I pull the tissue medially. Very mm -hmm. well. Okay, now come here, here we have a vein, and here you are in the plane of veins, veins which goes, which are tributary to the hypogastric vein. When the, bipolar, when the parametrium is infiltrated laterally, I start by dissecting the, the hypogastric vessels, as I described in the 10 step procedure of parametrial endometriosis, but here the lesion was not enough lateral to add this uh, supplementary operatory step. Okay, very well. Now let me see here. Here we have the infiltration of the, <coughs> of the vagina. Let me see. No, no, don't, don't move the uterus. I'll just put my finger. Yeah. Lateral? Lateral, like this. lot of vessels of the parametrium. Okay. So let me see. The here is the vessel I, I coagulated, but probably not enough. It, it, if it requires more coagulation uh, procedures, I will probably prefer to put a clip, bipolar. So I pull upward the ureter to increase the distance. Where does it come from? Here the heat diffusion will, um, will reach the fibers of the inferior hypogastric plexus. So uh, in this patient here, I think we can expect to have some uh, avoiding troubles, but uh, reversible, of course, bipolar. So here you are tangential to a to a vein. on the, the plane of the veins.
could you come and hold this, le leave the nodule, hold this part and pull it like this in order to open me the dissection uh, field. Okay, very well. Now, come closer to understand what's happened. should come from there my clipper I have to open here because the vein comes from uh, from the death and as far as I do not dissect more I cannot see where it comes from so I cannot uh, control it you see it is here this okay uh, just a moment stay like this as P have a vein which is open here you see it uh, to control her I think I have to cut here this this bridge Ciso. I have to cut this bridge in order to see better okay very nice bipolar now you are inside the vein actually inside the vein I have not to break it further could work mm. it work quoi ah ben je coupe pas pardon excusez moi j'ai pas envie de couper <rire> euh, je vais couper ça ce bout là Okay, but it's not so bad. Do not longer touch here. Hmm? Yes, you can leave. Okay, hold it, pull it far.
Ok, ok, on est vide. Euh, pince. Ok. It's normal here. Okay. Now I will put back a, a finger into the vagina to see if everything's okay because I did not actually found uh, an infiltration oh, it is very soft okay very well let's do now the right side here we are much more medially from uh, farther from the splatting nerve so I think uh, we won't have uh, problems of voiding bladder, but we, co we understand why the patient experiences during periods uh, bladder voiding problem because the lesions are close to splanking nerves and probably the inflammation impact impacts on the function of splanking nerves. And she needs to push with the with the abdomen to avoid the bladder. The director is far. Huh? Okay, bon. Let's take a let's take a picture. Mm. Ouais, tu peux regarder qui m'envoie, juste qui envoie. Mmh. Ouais, regarde ce qu'il dit, s'il te plaît. Quatre vingt-quatorze sept mille. C'est qui donc ton, ton contrat de travail? Oui. Oui. Oui, non, mais j'ai aimé, ils m'ont les montré, les, les collègues. Ok. Uh, 
uh, no, I think it's a nerve, so don't don't pull it. I will just try to avoid it to see it's a nerve or not. No, probably not. I will cut it anyway. Okay, so here we are medial from the splunking nerves, which are here. <coughs> on the level of the ureter. Okay. Okay, very well. Now put it. Let's see what's happened in the front. Get down the uterus to see what's happened here. It's a huge adenomyosis. You see how the it is the 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 view the lesion we saw in uh, in MRI. I said it is not actually a bladder nodule, but it's something very, should be an anterior adenomyoma or something like this. Here you open the paravaginal space in order to have a good view on the bladder. can may a stitch because but it, it is it's an adenomyosis we have here I cannot remove this but it's a very very active very a very active endometriosis lesions
que de sac euh, vésico utérin. No, it does not uh, go through the. But anyway, I will. I will open. Uh, I will. O I will put a. A treadmill metatrocar because we have to cut the rectum. Bipolar. Yeah, they 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 are uh, they are sick. They are sick. Both uterosacar, uh, both round ligaments are sick. It's so inflammatory. It's unbelievable. Look here. Plutôt uh, <coughs> ultra sidio. Now get get down. Stay down. You have to take care. Where is the origin of the? Fallopian tube, not to cut them because it's so anterior. Incredible inflammatory. Ask me. Pull, pull it, uh, pull it far. Yeah, this was the the place of the the infiltration of the um, cecum, fixation of the cecum. Okay, pounds. This is the uh, round ligament, which is infiltrated. It's, it's it continues with the endometriosis of with the adenomyosis, and continues with the in continuity with the endometriosis of the cecum. Uh, no, no, and I, I don't think there is a specific symptom. I think the symptoms should be taken together with those uh, of the adenomyosis. And I did not, I, and I have never seen it without adenomyosis. So it's some, somehow associated to the adenomyosis. Okay. Okay, we we'll leave it here. Let me see on the other side. Uh, the problem is that is it is on contact with the 
of the tube and it's very difficult to remove without, without taking a risk on the tube. Okay. Now, now we, we completely release the fallopian tube. It would be better to do a, a test to see whether or not they are the the potency is okay. Perfect. Very well. Could you answer us now? And we'll carry out the fallopian tube test. Okay. Okay, go on. Inject. It go ah. Yeah, it goes here is okay over side uh, oh wait is in a good shape uh, they take another one so left is okay right it's okay huh? this will open to we'll uh, we'll conservate it anyway Try to to rotate uh, thirty degree, yeah, like this. Okay, go on. Let's see. Oh, I I think you perforated. There's a perforation. Yeah, there's a perforation here. Yeah, you perforated. Okay, don't 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 worry. It's an adenomyotic uterus. Get down to see if uh, we have a bleeding. Get get down the uterus. Let me see. Is a perforation here? Hold hold this. Bipolar. Yeah, here is the perforation. You see. Okay. Mm. It's a very, very soft uterus. So antiverse, but taking care not to, not to. Uh, wait, get get down. I will put the the stitch on the uh, on the bladder first, and we'll we'll see what's happened here. Okay, come here. It's a very superficial refraction, so I'm not scared about about this.
Okay. Very well. So turn like this and antivirus like this. Okay. Now aspiration. I will put this nodule in the front. Okay. This one too. Okay. Ah. Huh? Uh, je sais plus. Il y a plusieurs. Hmm. There is no infiltration of the rectum. Okay, very well. Now, come, come upward in order to prepare the rectum so there will be a tension free uh, suture. Okay, hold this like this. Perfect. Ultra scission. Je ne sais pas problem. Je vais voir avec Quentin. Okay, so we are uh, opening the mesorectum, as we did in the first case, close to the to the rectum, until below the level of uh, of the infiltration. Now the the lesion is very high, so uh, I'm not sure that we can actually do a color. Let, let it down do a colorectal resection with the circular stapler because the circular stapler has only 20 cent yeah i think we can because we have to go a bit lower as we'll be maybe at 15 centimeter high Okay, put on the other side. Let me see. Yeah, everything is okay. Let me see what we have here. I'd like to remove this. This peritoneum. 
because in a such hole the menstrual blood always stays and uh, may uh, lead to endometriosis lesions and to pain. Okay. Okay, removed. So now, let me see. So here we are okay. We'll release this. Okay, very well. <coughs> so the region is here, the inferior limit is there. Okay, easy. Let's see now the right column. We have to prepare the right column before calling the, the colorectal surgeon. Il faut monter un tout petit peu l'écran parce que je vois double. Ouais, ça commence à être bien. Ok. Now let me see where is the ureter. The ureter is there. Vous êtes droite Bless you. So I'll completely release the right colon in order to be able to pull the colon in the ileum through probably a suprapubic incision. I will see if the colorectal surgeon if we want or not to do a suprapubic incision. But anyway, we have to completely release this to be able to mobilize, to manipulate it. Yes. Sicum ileum, so we have, we cannot, uh, we will perform a ileocolonic resection, yes. Because uh, the, the problem is that the infiltration of the ileum is, is too close to the ileocolonic junction, we cannot, it is, it is risky to perform a suture so close. I don't do anything more before calling him. Um, let me see. So, here we have the helium. Here is the nodule. 
passer. Ok, vous pouvez appeler Quentin. Euh, je sais pas, il va, il va venir. On va déjà couper, on va déjà couper le colon. Ça va être ça, c'est bien. On n'a pas ouvert le. I think we'll we'll do a suspubic incision because uh, to remove, uh, as I did not open the the colon, I don't want to remove uh, such a big nodule through the anus because uh, I'm afraid it may uh, it may be harmful for the sphincter. Quoi, il opère à côté? Et il a encore des blocs à côté Ok, pince. So. The nodule is there. Like this. So I take some distance. Come back. Okay, very well. Stay like this. But no, not when he's ready. But no. Because if you pose like that the question when you are ready, he says, "I'm not ready." Je suis pas prêt. Bon, à ah, ce soir. Ouais. Very well. Now the question is how we do this, how we remove this. Honestly, I'm not favorable to the nose, but uh, I uh, want to. Okay, you can leave it. You can leave. I want to wait for my colleague in order to have actual discussion between colleagues uh, I will release here a bit <laughs> we won't have any problem of tension at this level okay very well there you see it is a major major infiltration okay It comes easily. Okay, hold it, please. infiltrant
Uh, Dover lesions are, are minor, of minor importance, but this is actually Yeah, let me down. I try to see if it is very infiltrant, but yeah. Okay, no longer hesitation. Let it down. It's too close. It is too close to to. It is too close to do only a segmental a segmental uh, resection of this ileon. Okay. Okay. Okay, let me see on the other side. So you'll prepare our uh, Professor De Nost. Yeah, this is the nodule of the cecum and this is the nodule of the of the ileum. you can pull them easily okay is he, is he speaking uh, a telephone okay let him uh, be polar so I perform the coagulation here, the hemostasis, hopefully. Qua. De qua.
Aspi. Ok. Hmm. Mais oui, réponds s'il te plaît, parce que ça peut être la secrétaire. C'est où au troisième C'est quoi Il est quelle heure Ah oh bah ça va, c'est bon. Ça ira. Ouais, ben bah j'y vais avec eux. Hein. Mais on aura fini, d'ici une demi-heure on a fini. J'espère que c'est important. Pense. Let me see if we need to release come come here to release much there. Bon, Quentin, look, we have two lesions. We have a sigmoid colon lesion which is uh, subocclusive, and the anastomosis will be maybe at 15 centimeter above the anus. And we have a sickle lesion here, here on the base of the appendix, but an involvement of the ileum three centimeter above. So I think we can do only iliocolonic resection because both lesions are not neglectable and uh, the patient is, is actually young and she's uh, infertile, she will have another IVF. Okay, now the question is, I know that yesterday you did it entirely uh, laparoscopically, but how we can uh, remove this this is very very large it's a very large nodule i did not open the vagina and opening the rectum just to pull it i think it's huh c'est un peu sharpé you know on fait une supra pubien okay parfait okay so we'll do a supra pubic incision okay so you perform a we perform a suprapubic incision due to the double procedure and uh, to the size of the rectal nodule. Stop inflation.
Et on va commencer par récupérer... Euh, get down, Diotelos, please. On va récupérer un petit peu les, les pièces qui sont devant. Euh, pince plate. Donc, une... Deux... Trois... Il y avait une quatrième ou pas Je crois pas. Non. Ok, parfait. Bon, c'est à toi maintenant. Ok, very well. So here we have the the nodule of the cecum. Here we have the infiltration of the ileum. Just take care not to touch me. Yes. So I will staple the ileum side, keep the stitches so that we have a proper exposition. And then do a end to side anastomosis, and soon anastomosis. End to side. So you'll perform an end-to-side anastomosis? There is two possibilities, either a side-to-side -side anastomosis, yes. anisoperistatic, or end-to-side anastomosis. I think that usually when you have an uh, IBD, I mean inflammatory bowel disease, we try to have a very large anastomosis. It's not the case here. That means that you avoid to have two stem, I mean two, uh, two, two step line. Okay. So you only have one step line. So now Perfect. you will step Like this. Okay. This. Mm. So you have here and here you have another lesion. It's a multi multifocal sickle in the material. Uh, the, the, the disease is very spread. It's very inflammatory. With a huge adenomyosis. Yes. Yes. 
Mm. So you do running such a with the hemostatic uh, hemostatic goal. the barb suture. Yeah, it it is better because it may bleed. But now with the barb suture, mm. this version of the. Like this. Et ça, tu l'as fait comment à la main ou avec? Uh okay, so it's by hand. Okay, perfect. So now two, two semi, uh, hemi barbed suture, no? Yes. Hold, hold like this. No, no, hold, hold, hold like this. Right. So one stitch on each extremity and then, yeah, and then open the small ball. So the interest to do this uh, instead of uh, side to side is to conserve the peristaltic direction. Yeah. And to avoid to have two step of line. Yes. Okay. 
Sunday evening I um, calculated the number of procedures you saw we have 85 in four years 85 uh, iliocolonic resection or ileal resection so it's not as rare as expected Just it here. Sorry. Uh, side to side is does not actually respect the peristaltic. That's why uh, that's why he said he preferred the side to end, uh, so the end to side. PDS PDS for for zero Okay, so we are doing the bark suture on the posterior edges and then we'll come with uh, another bark suture on the anterior edge.
one of the most uh, challenging complications we have uh, we had in uh, Rouen was in a patient with uh, excision uh, of the rese colorectal resection like here and ileocolonic uh, resection and we performed the side to side uh, st anastomosis using stepper and the surgery finished at uh, half past 11 I think and uh, at uh, 6 o'clock in the, in the evening the nurse called me because uh, she said that the patient has metro rage very very abundant metro rage so I I, I went I into into her uh, room and she was uh, the the bed was full of uh, black black blood but which obviously was coming from the rectum uh, she had uh, six gram of hemoglobin and the origin was uh, on the um, anastomosis, uh, on the side to side anastomosis. Yes. And until the, the blood reached the rectum, there were uh, three liters or two liters into the, uh, into the colon. Okay. Vas-y, 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 vas-y. Oui. Non, c'est combien Combien la CRP C'est bien. Hein? On la laisse rentrer. Elle peut sortir. Ouais. Puis je pense qu'avec les noces, on a toujours un peu plus élevé. Ah oui, c'est incroyable. <rire> Incroyable quand tu vas. Écoute. Et puis elle est bien. Tu vois, elle est, elle est bien quoi. Ah ouais. Et puis euh, et puis elle urine normalement. Je. The goal is to be well done, exactly. not to be fast. Don't, uh, don't uh, touch the, the legs because we had the uh, crash syndromes on the legs, you know. Because if the leg moves, uh, there will may be a compression, and we had uh, we had a lot of we had some problems. We had two patients with uh, crash syndrome like this.
Well, yesterday you showed you can do it abdominally, now uh, you show that you can do also classically. Mm. Mm. Yes. But when you perform it in trap, I mean, how you avoid spinach? Because you, you lose some. Uh, uh, it's completely free. Okay. Perfect. here just here yeah. more more to say perfect Une 31, je pense que... Attends, c'est assez haute. Ouais, peut-être le 29, c'est pas mal. Parce que c'est assez haute quand même. Ouais, un 29, peut-être. Peut peut je pense qu'on est bien à 15. <rire> I was doing like this when I had the, the um, stu medical student. Asking to, to make a... You can touch. Okay. <rire> Qu'est-ce qu'il y a
ici, on va, on va bien. So here we will perform a side to end anastomosis using a 31 millimeter diameter circular stapler. So we remove, uh, let's say, seven centimeter of uh, sigmoid colon. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Okay. Then. Yeah. No, if you're afraid, I think we should do it. T'as un autre bloc qui commence T'as une patient qui dort Qui dort déjà Ils sont pas très favorables au fait que... Hmm. Ça m'évite. Right. Yes, we reinforce. It's a hemostatic rule. Because from to while we internalize and uh, we see that you have some bleeding and. Uh, but of course, we do this only when we perform a suprapubic incision, not in nose. We usually, we do not do it. Hmm? Sorry? Yes, the proscopic on the ilium. Hmm. Hier, tu as fait quoi? Un uh, side to side? Side to side, pas mis au contact, c'était une ion idéal. Hmm. J'ai pas fait de l'anisectomie. Et c'était assez à distance, we were far in arts. From the junction. Okay, on quel salon on douze? Une quoi Une amputation Six ans. C'est rétro, c'est pré sacré donc. Oui. Non, pas du tout. Je sais pas, ouais. Et puis là, peut-être il y a des gros vaisseaux.
Comment on appelle la pince là que tu mets euh... Non, non, que, que tu mets sur la... Celle où tu passes les fils. First. Ouais. Tu peux essayer quelque chose ou pas non Il va se mettre dans la... Ok. Allez, super. Betadine. Ok, everybody change the gloves. Grasp. Let's see now. Aspi. C'est là aussi le sorti. Tous les trois sont sortis. Poussez-le. Hein? Je sais pas, je vais voir. Si tu veux, oui. Surtout que c'est plus sage. C'est quand même très inflammatoire. Hein. C'est quand même très... Ah, ok. Progresse. Oui. Oui. Je t'ai dit, on est à 15 cm. Ici. Hold, hold, the, hold the camera, please. Pince. Prenez ma pince, pince. Attends. Ah oui. Peut-être qu'il faut le couper plus bas, hein. non hmm? En fait, il, oui, il est... Oui, il, il faudrait que, qu que je le refasse, non Que ce soit comme ça. Il faudrait couper ici, comme ça. Ultra -cision. C'est pas grave, on, on, on s'occupe de la chirurgie et puis après on va voir le reste. Ouais. En fait, c'était tellement un euh, tortier. Ah, là, je suis dans le. 
que je coupe au dessous. We will cut three centimeters more because here we were. Uh, it is impossible to to reach with the circular stapler. Okay. Ah, ici, non? Là, comme ça. Et c'est ça qui tient. C'est ça, regarde, j'ai pris ça. Ouais. Ah, et là, c'est clair. Uh -huh. Maintenant, je, du coup, je vais couper ici. Ok, en deux géants. So, I had a small problem. Okay. Mm, C'est parfait comme ça, non? C'est parfait comme ça. The indograph is above. The step line is above. It's one step. Perfect. Now it's wonderful. Okay. Um, let me see. Where do you want to come? Do you want to come in here? Like this? Okay. You want to come here in the. Oh. In front, meaning uh, the step line, you want to be down? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Huh? Ouais. Uh, ben, re recule, recule, et puis moi je, je prends là. Parce que sinon je peux pas le faire autrement. Uh, pense. So this is to be removed later and here we have the okay hold it please now get down Clock. No, no twist. Let's see where is the suture. No, no, no. Let let it because I want to I want to see the suture, the lateral suture. It is it is here. It should be here. Yeah. Okay, we can go. Yes. Perfect. 
It is very high. Huh? Uh, maybe more than 15 centimeter. You call of it. I can or on a on a insufflé, on a incisé. On the vent it. Oh, it don't do the zone. You can. Bipolar. Oui. Oh. Oublie parce que c'est trop. On va laisser un redon quand même parce que c'est très. C'est magique. Ok. Hyper inflammatoire. So we, we leave a drain because it was actually very, very inflammatory. Ouais, vas-y. Ouais. No, no blue liquid inside. Ouais, parfait. Ouais. Parfait. Donc ça, c'est parfait. Et l'autre, double one, is perfect too. Thank you very much. In theory, the other two patients do not require the presence of the colorectal surgeon put uh, put it uh, where is the put it here in front put it in front very well now uh, you can remove your uh, your instrument and I will put the drain here. Okay, that was 